Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to see some more stuff in Oracle Apex. Uh, so maybe uh, today I'm going to teach you how to uh, you know create forms and reports, uh, forms and reports together. First of all, yeah. So go to the back end of this this time. Go to the application builder over here and report first. I will I'll show you how to create the report standalone and then how to create a form standalone. Right, so I'll create interactive report. I'll create a interactive report like this customer report. And uh, here we'll select the customers. Let it be everything as it is. Click on create page, and a page got created. A customer report will get created. I'll just run and show you how it looks. So now let's run this page and you can see we have we have this customer report where we have list of customers full name and email address okay that's fine now what i what i'm going to do i'm going to create a form which will uh, okay so let's say if we want to edit the data and uh, how we will edit the data we'll have to have a form first right so we will create a form and this form is going to show you uh, the editable field of full name and email address how you can do that uh, click on plus icon click on page and uh, click uh, create a form so in this form uh, i will say customer form and over here i'm just going to select the table on which table the form will get created this table uh, and this is going to be model dialog right uh, we will keep it as model dialog page so this is what the page mode by default, a normal page gets created, something like this. But when we select model dialog, a pop-up comes when we, you know, come uh, when we try to get into this page. So let it be model dialog. Click on next, <coughs> and uh, let the primary key as customer ID. Click on create page. Uh, this page got created, page number twenty-four. But as this is a model dialog page, you will not be able to run the page from here. Okay, I'll quickly show you let it get loaded completely uh, it take few seconds some time uh, but yeah sometimes it gets created you know very quickly all right so this page got created now if i click on run button you'll you'll say that dialog page cannot be run directly from the page designer okay what it means we have to create the page from here uh, how we can do that i'll add a plus icon over here and that plus icon will actually uh, you know open the page all right so i'll click on this thing i'll create a plus icon uh, let me it is taking a bit time i don't know why but let it be and uh, let me go to the front page and go go back to this customer report uh, sometimes you know it take time okay so in the breadcrumb i'm going to right click and create button and here i'll say create okay and i will create a button with text icon icon i'm going to give uh, here as plus icon let's say this one click on ok click on save and uh, refresh the page you see that a create button got created i'll pull it over here at the right side so for that, what I can do instead of region body, I will make it as edit. Okay, save. Here also you can see the button was here before it got shifted to right side. Now let me refresh the page. You can see button got over here. Now which page number we have created for form? Let me right click and open the you know all the pages. So I'll see uh, customer form. I think this page, page number twenty four. All right. So this create button is uh, action of this create button is uh, submit page. I will make it as redirect to page in this application and page number 24, I think. Yeah. Okay, 24. And here what we will do, clear cache 24. It means when we will click on plus icon, all the fields should be, you know, cleared. Right. So we don't want any, uh, any cache in the, those items. For that purpose, I'm just saying that clear everything in page 24. Okay, save. 
and uh, refresh the page fine now click on create we have this full name and email address okay this is nicely aligned nicely created everything is fine now i want something which will help me to uh, you know edit the record from this, these uh, fields right what i can do we have multiple options either you can give a hyperlink on the full name you can give a hyperlink over over email address or you can create a new column as edit link okay so you have multiple options what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new column actually so i'm not going to create a new column i will reuse this customer id itself so if you'll see this customer id is hidden because this is a primary key instead of making it hidden i'll make it link okay and if you scroll down when you make it link uh, we will be able to give the link over here the target okay uh, i'll select page as 24 from the list i want to get redirected to page number 24 and here i want to pass the customer id also so that we will get the customer id from this page to that page okay so here we will select p24 customer id we have given page 24 that is why in the target section we are getting this p24 customer id and the value we can take from the report itself as customer id click on ok save and just see how it looks uh, so you can see we got this customer id over here but when you hover on it we are getting uh, you know a, a, a redirection thing so we are able to these fields become clickable and we are able to click on the field if i click on this thing you can see we got the data over here right along with this we got this delete button and apply change button right and if i click on this thing you can see uh, john peterson is there i'll click on it and we got the name over here email addresses this over here cancel it so all these things got aligned <clears throat> what i'm going to do it doesn't look good we don't want customer id as a column and it, we don't want customer id to show because this is not going to make sense for end user uh, what i will do instead of link text as customer id i'll just choose uh, this icon from this place okay this icon or this icon whatever you like you can keep it i'll just paste this one i mean i'll just select this one and uh, if i'll go up over here you'll say heading as customer id is written i'll just remove it and i'll write ampersand and bsp this is nothing but space alignment i'll change i'll make it as center line for header and center line for layout uh, click on save and you'll find that things got aligned nicely and you got this link over here right better okay now when we click on this thing we can get the data over here now let me just remove this two and click on apply chain we'll see if it is getting uh, we are able to save the data or not okay it got saved but it didn't get refresh no problem if i refresh the page it got uh you know went away from here uh okay to refresh the page i will uh, to refresh the region i'll tell you how we can do that before that let me click on this create button and here you can see we got a empty form uh, we can enter over anything over here i'll say sam altman as he is in the news nowadays because of chat gpt I'll, i'm just going to use his name and email address is uh, let's say sam dot sam dot altman at the rate google.com it doesn't work for google but let's use this email address that's okay okay click on create and this got created it is actually there in the list if you will try to refresh the page you get you you got the data right now the next thing is that uh, we are able to create the record we are able to you know edit the record everything is fine but whenever we make any change we are uh, this uh, you know let's if i make uh, altman uh, one when i make click on apply change this should also get refreshed what we can do for that so there is a dynamic action i'm going to teach you dynamic action briefly in some other session but here i'm just going to make uh, one thing which will help us to refresh the page using dynamic action so click on quick edit go to the region and here in the region right click on it and create a dynamic action here uh, you'll see that uh, we have created dynamic action as new give a name as uh, uh, 
dialog close for this region for uh, customer report okay you can give any name i'm just giving here a random name over here and here the event is not going to be after refresh this is going to be a uh, uh, dialog closed okay so when dialog is getting closed for this region i want to refresh here the true action you can select uh, refresh and the item is going to be region and the region is going to be customer report so i want to refresh customer report whenever a dialog will get closed just save it and uh, refresh this page yeah now click on create i'm going to write a name over here let's say uh, any name suggest me a name uh, okay i'm just going to use ram and email address as ram at the rate uh, google.com okay click on create and and it got refreshed i think in the back end but yeah let me just do one thing i'll pick this one and from here i will just make it uh, remove this one and make click on apply change yeah you can see it got refreshed if you if i click on it and i'll make jack sparrow 2 apply change you can see it got refreshed and we got the data over here so we have created a form and a report okay and uh, we are able to save the record we are able to recreate the record when we click on create we are getting a button called create and a button called cancel but when we click on edit of any of the record any of the data we get a apply change we get this delete button we can cancel button so everything is working fine if you will you know click on delete the data will get deleted okay we we get this intimation that do you want to perform delete action i'll say yes delete and it got deleted so everything is working fine this is how you can create a form and a report uh, in the next session i will be show you how to create form and report manually everything we are going to do manually we will write query manually we will write uh, form thing manually we will write insert and update operation instead insert and update command manually everything manually all right i hope you have enjoyed the video thanks for watching uh, let me know if you have any feedback any suggestion any comments thank you